Hello everybody, I'm Burning Acid, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Oh man, we have got a Kerbal stranded in space. This guy in this vessel, the low Grav rover, he is stuck in space. He's actually stranded, he doesn't have enough fuel to go anywhere. So we need to save him sometime, but not today. So we will be doing a few things today. Um, the first of all, we will be going to the dual system and we will be landing two vessels on lathe and with some luck we might be able to basically land them right on top of each other because that would be helpful but don't count on it i'm not even joking do not count on it and after we have done that we will go to our big ultra mega pattern time and spaceship we will go for a nice flyby through the urania system and we will leave its sphere of influence and we will attempt to actually get an encounter with Kerbin, possibly. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but hopefully we'll be able to do it because th there's so many Kerbals on board, of, on board of that vessel, it's really bad. They need to be saved from the laggy monster that it is. So let's go and land those things on life because I think it would be pretty damn fantastic to see that magnificent bastard with clouds. It's gonna be glorious. Clouds are actually working right now, so that's very good. Productivity mode is enabled, guys. Hello, everybody. I'm Post Commentary Guy. How are you all doing? That's awesome to hear. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not even joking. So, we just got our uh, rover into Leif's sphere of influence, and that's fantastic because that's exactly what we wanted to do. We just circularized our orbit as well, so that bastard is gonna keep us. At least for a while. For a long while possibly we don't know maybe those rockets or at least that the one we are looking at right now uh, this one is actually supposed to go back at some point so maybe it will be able to maybe it won't be able to life is actually quite a massive bastard and it has quite a bit of gravity and also quite the atmosphere but it's not quite Kerbin level yet, so we might be able to do it, we might not be able to do it, we'll see in due time. But, for now, we are working on getting ourselves on a spot of land, and that was actually a lot harder than it sounds, because life is mostly water, well, so is Earth, but life is like 99% water, something in that direction, it's kind of crazy. Look at that though, such a nice view of the jewel. And ever so slightly distracted and we disintegrate. Uh oh, that's not the best. We were going way too quick for those parachutes to deploy, so we are going to attempt again. And it might go better and we also might still make the exact same mistake. Who knows? I don't know. Well, I might know. <laughs> Uh, who am I kidding? I don't know anything. So yeah, we are going in for another attempt burning all the way down Well, pretty much all the way down. We are just burning on our at atomic rocket motors and it seemed to go pretty well I also opted not to open the shoots too early. I went with 500 meters altitude And that was pretty good and look at that a perfect landing I know it was with the help of the parachutes, but still it's a perfect landing and we've had parachuted landings before and they were they went horrible. But this one went pretty well and unfortunately we managed to land on a spot that was pretty damn flat, not gonna lie. Uh, when we landed here I was like, oh cool, Leif is probably pretty flat. No, hell no, Leif is a hilly bastard, just like all of them, fuck, it's horrible, <laughs> actually horrible, we just got very, very lucky with that landing. So now. We will go and attempt to land our rover right on top of that first vessel. If we will make it, I don't know. But what I wanted to do with this vessel was uh, a bit different. Well, not that much different, but just a bit different from the previous landing. I wanted to go through the atmosphere a bit more shallow and turns out it didn't work out in my favor. Uh, I discovered we were way too high up when I was hoping we would be a bit lower, like in the atmosphere. Didn't quite work out, so if I hadn't fired those engines for like the entire descent, we would have actually ended up in the ocean and that's not the best. So our parachutes open, we are slowly going down, that's absolutely fantastic. It's a proper result and we are landing on one hilly son of a bitch. Just look at that, look at how steep it is. 
and for some reason the controls of the rover are currently inverted. Hopefully it will be uh, normal reverted? No, that doesn't work. Uh, hopefully the controls will be normal next time. Uh, accelerating and braking was in reverse, that's not the best, but I was pressing S instead of W. Uh, doesn't really matter too much. So we are driving along the surface of life at 20 times speed up mode. So that's pretty good, right? I mean, actually means we get some stuff done because in reality this took for fucking ever. I'm not even joking. This literally took half an age. What we just did was we turned our vessel around because we're going down quite a steep slope. And by turning our, uh, our rover around, our center of mass was put more to the back, so uh, it was no longer at the front. Because if it stayed at the front, it would have been very, very easy for the rover to tip over as soon as I tried to brake at all. So it was pretty good. We didn't flip over once. Well, not in that, uh, not on that slope. That is, <laughs> I say not once, but it was just one slope we're talking about. So we exploded. It's not the best. Why did we explode? I don't know. Maybe we'll never know. But maybe we will know. I don't know. We just lost our engines, but that's absolutely fine. This thing is meant to stay here for forever, basically. It's never going to leave. Well, that was not... It was... The plan was it's not going to leave. We just broke one of the landing gears, not the best. We fell over ever so slightly and needed the help of our land landing gears to get us back up. We just went way too fast and braking didn't work and we exploded. The game crashed. So I had to reload the game and it works and we are back in. So that's pretty good. We are nearly at our destination with the two other Kerbals. It's pretty damn good. Now there's gonna be three Kerbals. Just look at that. They're meeting up. The guy decided to put down his landing gear right on top of the other Kerbals' head. Because why the hell not, right? I mean, it's good times, right? So what we are doing right now is we are attaching a pipe from one vessel to the other vessel. So that we are capable of actually refueling our uh, interplanetary vessel so that it has maximum fuel because I think we're going to need it to get back because the life is quite massive has a lot of gravity a big ass atmosphere and it's not the best we had a bit of trouble getting our Kerbal onto the rover but when we turned on the jetpack it was no longer a problem indeed we have deployed the satellite thingies or the the comms, dishes, whatever you want to call them, and we are going for a super short drive. And those guys decided they want to go back and do a pose for the camera, and it's looking pretty fabulous. But I'm done here now. Okay, this is a bit of a problem, guys. Every single time I go to the tracking station, the game freezes up. Uh, I don't know why it... This has happened before, and it's just fixed itself. Just it just went away by itself. So I've tried reloading the game about ten times. Not even joking there. Ten times, and it just keeps freezing up uh, every single time. So I'm afraid we will not be able to go to our uh, big ultra mega pattern time and spaceship. Uh, we will not be able to do that in this episode. I'm, uh, it's getting late, this video needs to get made, so I'm afraid that this is going to be it for the episode. Um, I guess we could try and go into... We could try to go into the trucking station once more, see if it magically fixed itself by now. Uh, if it doesn't fix itself by next time, I guess we'll have to go back to a backup, but we'll go and do other stuff than we have been doing of course because redoing that stuff is gonna be kind of pointless I think so let's go see if it works okay it's the moment of truth it's the moment of no it just froze up oh, sad story so yeah uh, hopefully it will have fixed itself by next time uh, and if it didn't, then I guess we'll have to go back to a backup, but like I said, we'll go and do other stuff than we have been doing because that's kind of silly. So unfortunately, we won't be able to proceed for now, but next time is going to be better. So until next time, I've been Burning Acid. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.